Hi everybody and welcome back to Tales of Wanderlust. I'm Cass, this is Ira and Buck, and today we are going to be installing a utility bumper on my base camp, so stay tuned. Where's the guy with a little clicker? Right I've now. never done this to other people before, so this is a little weird. <laughs> so where did you get the idea for these bumpers? So, that's pretty simple. Bought an Airstream base camp. And I have a pretty big bike, as you can see right here. And my wife was like, there's no way you're putting that inside the Airstream. So, I decided I had to have some way to carry my bike. We did a prototype in my little shop, because I built the racks there. We did a prototype with PVC pipe. But once I looked underneath and I saw the open end of the C-channel that they use, well, I knew that, okay, if I can make something slide in there and bolt up, it's going to be strong. So once I saw that, well, then that got me going. And then we transferred into metal, and then we just kind of welded a, a basic kind of shape, and then we discovered when we put it on that it looks like it's falling, and then we ended up actually rotating the tubes in the, in the openings. It's a com very complex kind of angle because your frame actually goes up, so, you know, we wanted to follow the lines, and it just looks like it belongs from the factory. Even though the bumper has a certain angle, the hitch has another three degrees to keep a departure angle, keep it, keep you high in the back. Can you walk us through how easy this installation is? The scariest part for most people is going to be cutting holes in their bumper. It's not hard. If you follow the template and you just kind of lose fear of you're doing something wrong, you'll be fine. What are the specs? What is this rated for? Well, we, for the, for the Airstream Base Camp, I conservatively rated at 150 pounds. But you'll see it's much stronger than that, but that doesn't necessarily mean you should carry more weight back there. Um, the farther you get the weight out, the more it affects the tongue weight. So the closer you can keep it to the bumper, the safer you are. Again, mountain bikes, traditional bikes and carriers, no big deal. When you start getting to two heavy e-bikes, then you gotta be careful with your weight. So I carried this 85 pound bike and that 52 roughly pound carrier. But if you start putting more than that, you're gonna start messing with your tongue weight of your trailer. So everybody needs to be careful of that. If you start to get some sway, you need to load weight in the front. But what I found with mine is this part right here is pretty close to keeping my trailer tongue weight at 10%. And if I have to load a little bit more cargo in the front, which is pretty easy, I do that. What have I carried with it? That carrier, a different carrier, a motorcycle carrier that I made for my bike early on. I put a generator back there before. Just things I don't want to put inside the trailer. Firewood. Yeah, firewood. <laughs> All the dirty things you Anything keep back you here. don't want to put inside your trailer yep. is good out here, with the exception if you don't go too heavy because you want a trailer safe. It's made of steel to make it strong, and then it's double powder coated. So it's got two powder coats because I didn't want it to rust. And then we use stainless steel hardware. The whole purpose of this was to make something that looks like it was supposed to be on the Airstream. What's your background? So this fits like a glove. It is a really great design. Can you give us a little bit of history about the Easy Rec Rack Company? History for myself starts when I was a kid. I always tinkered, I always built. I sold cars for years and years and years and years. But I always still tinker. Well, I like toys. So when I buy toys, I figure out ways to make them better. So uh, years ago, I bought a couple kayaks. Then I couldn't get them on top. So I started out building a loading system for kayaks, which is called the Easy Rec Rack. It's, a, it's basically a loading system for kayaks that you can put on top of an SUV. That's been going for about three years, and then I wanted another toy, base camp. So <laughs> as soon as I saw that, I knew there was some improvement, and that's where the bunker came to me. Awesome. So let's go get it on the base camp and see what this takes. All right, let's do that. So what we did is we made templates. The templates get you really close, but the only real lineup is this brace. As long as the cut is just a shade inside this edge, you'll line up perfect. So when you line up these two edges in a straight line on the outside edge of this line, that's when you're cutting and your blade will slide right in and it'll go right into the frame of the trailer. The line on paper will look curved, it will look like an arc. It looks deceptive, but it's really a straight line because of the curve. This is a 9 30 seconds drill. It's the same drill bit I'm going to use in the frame. Oh, there goes my bumper. <laughs> this is and I'll take part. a steel rod, yeah. and we're going to slide it in here. And then when I straighten it out, I can feel it on the frame, but I'm going to line it up from the inside and look out. Okay. Just to make sure. Yep, that's perfectly straight. 
Good. Once I'm satisfied my holes are in the right place, I'm gonna take them out to about a half inch with this step drill. Now that doesn't stop you at a half inch, so you're guesstimating, right? I'm guesstimating. So it doesn't 100% have to be like an exact half no, inch kind of thing? it is not a perfect science. There's, when the bumper goes in there, it the, the slot disappears. It could be done with a jigsaw, or just, it's, it's a nice little reciprocal tool. There you go. All right, so it's a little bit of a rough cut around there. Is that any concern, or no, is that going to be covered? We don't even see it. But see, if you look straight in there, you can actually see a frame, and the bumper will sit on on the on the inside of that frame, and then we're going to drill into the frame this way. You want to slide the frame in? This is where two people makes it a lot easier. We already put the blades on ahead of time. But those just bolt on with stainless steel bolts. And make sure it's pointing up, which is if you look at the Easy logo, you want it to be obviously like readable and legible. And also there's this nut here. I'll make sure that's on top. So you know you're not Grab doing it upside down. Just bevel these angle down. The reason they do is your frame angles down because of the departure angle. So we made this to slide in the same departure angle. Mm -hmm. Get in. Mm -hmm. We have this little this little bump step here. So you want to make sure this is just kind of touching, slide it in until it just touches the plastic and that's how you know you're you're completely in, that this little knob that sticks out here. Now the thing is, it's gonna flop down like like so. So you need another person when, you, when you're getting ready to drill into your frame, you need somebody to stand here and, and, and just apply upward pressure because that makes, that makes sure it sits flat in that rail of the frame. So somebody just has to sit. Stand here and look strong. I'm just going to put one bolt in each side for right now, and that way it'll be solid, and then we'll draw out the rest. So you don't have to stand there and hold it for the next 20 yes, minutes? Yes, exactly. Exactly. So it's a 930 seconds drill bit, right? Yep. So I'm applying pressure this whole time he's doing and it. I'm just checking to make sure it's sitting right directly on the frame, because that way all the, the strength is held by the frame, not the bumper, actually. And then these are self-tapping. Having an impact is priceless. If I stand on it at this point, go is and that... stand on it. Climb up there and check your air condition. <laughs> so you have two bolts in there right That's now. Two bolts, and we're yeah. gonna have eight more. That's awesome. Now I can fix this because you can fix that. Ignore that. Awesome. That looks really good, guys. So the arms of the bumper actually have pre-made holes. So once you get uh, the first bolt installed, the self-tapper, just use the next holes as, a, as, as templates, as a guide to where you actually put the drill and drill the holes. So now you have an installed bumper. Simple, easy. So we actually made sure this is far enough from this opening to lower your spirit. You can still get that crank in there. This color, if you use like a Rust-Oleum flat if black, scratch it, if you ever scratch it, it, you know, Rust-Oleum will match this color perfectly. So you can refresh your bumper. <gasps> Just like that. All right, how's that? Read the logo. It's easy, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. So You're now welcome. the bumper is installed. Yep. This thing is amazing. It looks mean. It really does fit with the base cam. I really appreciate you coming out, yeah. installing it. No problem. And if you guys have any questions at all about the bumper, feel free to comment below. If they're specific on the bumper, I'll get them right over to Ira and he will get back to you with any questions you might have. If somebody was interested in the bumper, where do they go? To my website. So it's easyrecreationalracks.com. And right now I have 16 bumpers in stock. 20 bumpers are getting made and more 16s are getting made, but the 16s I have in stock. So you do have them for the base camp 16 and the base camp 20? The 20, yeah. We've made a few for the 20. They've worked out well. 20 requires a little more work for the installation, but I'll leave that for another video. <laughs> but they have to drop. There's a pan underneath you have to drop down. The rest of the installation is pretty much the same, but there's a little more work involved in the 20. That's good to know. I'll link to that website below if you guys are interested. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. I built the bumper for the uh, base camp. I, I thought, okay, I need a rack, I need a carrier. And I'm like, what would I want? Well, I got a carrier, I got a bike rack, but I don't want to have two. So that's where the idea of the combo carrier came up.
So the easy combo carrier is a bike rack, a cargo carrier, and an outdoor kitchen all in one. So we'll do a sneak peek video later in the year as they will be ready for release at the end of 2021. Stay tuned.